Howdy folks, I'm Landy. I was gonna put this on my own channel, but I figured it'd be a fun extra video to tide you over till the next dub. Something you might notice in various official Sonic artworks is that the colors can tend to look a bit flat, or even full-on incorrect. You might even see two versions of the same render, one sporting a full range of colors, and the other looking... duller. There's a good reason for this. Enter CMYK. CMYK is the color standard for printed works. It's comprised of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, with black being considered the key color, hence the K in the abbreviation. If you mostly work with electronic devices, you'll probably be familiar with RGB, red, green, and blue, which is the color standard for digital screens. RGB-based colors are used for screens because they can produce a wide range of colors when blended additively. And that's important because screen pixels typically start out black and then only get brighter, which is what additive blending is all about. Unfortunately, with printed works, it's not that simple, as they don't really emit light like a digital screen can. So instead, printed colors have to be blended subtractively, which is to say that they start on white paper, which is then darkened by various inks. This means that the standard needs to be different. Cyan, magenta, and yellow ink colors were chosen because, despite technically darkening the underlying paper, these are relatively bright colors. This means that these inks can still produce a good range of lighter colors when combined during the printing process. And then black, the fourth color, is used to further darken these colors whenever necessary. Because CMYK is the standard for print, you'll sometimes see Sonic artwork that doesn't quite look right on your screen. Converting this artwork to something print compatible means losing some of the vibrancy offered by, say, Sonic's typical royal blue color. To try and remedy this, what some CMYK artworks have undergone is actually a hue shifting process, which restores some of Sonic's vibrancy on print. You can see this for yourself in the Modern Sonic Style Guide. Sonic's fur is sometimes shifted to a more cyan hue, while his shoes are sometimes shifted to a more magenta hue. I'm sure you can already guess how this plays to the strengths of the CMYK standard. This is also why Sonic's colors look the way they do in many of the comics. And of course, all this applies to the characters besides Sonic himself. Sometimes the conversion will be more direct, and you'll get cases like this 3D render we started with. If we take the RGB version of this render, and hot convert it to CMYK, you'll see that the colors match up with the more flat look offered by what you now know to be the CMYK version of this render. And that's it! Hopefully this video provided some fun insight. I know I learned a few things myself while making it. Oh, and one last thing. The CMYK colors are also the same colors we use for our current version of the Adrenaline Dubs outro. Take a look at this. Wow.